What's up guys, Robbie D here from Funko Pop Monthly, and in today's video I will be listing off the top 10 Funko Pops for the month of May, in my opinion. But before we get started, make sure to smash that like button. If you're new to my channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And also don't forget to hit the little bell beside it to be notified of when future content like this video gets released. But anyways, let's get poppin'. So kicking off today's list at number 10, it is the FYE exclusive of Stephen King with Balloon. Now of course, as most of you may know that this resembles the movie It, and I haven't seen the movie, and overall I think this pop looks pretty well designed in my opinion, and very detailed in the fact that it definitely resembles the movie it as well as of course Stephen King so uh, would this be a pop that I would add into my collection I don't think so but of course like I mentioned it is very detailed it is a good looking pop and that is why it made it into my top 10 list for the month of May now coming in at number 9 it is the GameStop slash EB games exclusive Kratos from the game Gods of War. I've played this game a few times, maybe a few years ago, back on my PS3. Uh, it actually came with my red controller that I had from my PS3. It was kind of like a bundle, and it had the whole saga of Gods of War, which was pretty nice. I do like the character, Kratos. Uh, would this be a pop that I added into my collection? Maybe, but like I mentioned, very detailed. I do like the character, and I'm glad Funko decided that Kratos would be uh, a fun character to add into basically what is the game's lineup of Funko Pops. Coming in at number 8 on my list is the GameStop slash EB Games exclusive Shadow Trooper from Star Wars. Now this pop looks very detailed in my opinion. Uh, I'm kind of surprised that I don't have it a bit higher in my list. However, of course, the pops that come higher on the list are very more detailed in my opinion and have more hype and personal reaction. Again, like I've been saying. So, um, basically just to kind of discuss about this character for a second. Honestly, why wouldn't it make it into anyone's top 10 list? Like I said, very detailed as you can see. And that is why I made it into my top 10 list. And now let's move on to my number 7. Now coming in at number 7, from the movie Zombieland, it is Bill Murray. And this is the common Bill Murray. There is a Chase version with short hair, however I feel like the common definitely represents Bill Murray in the movie Zombieland with the full hair because that's how you first see him. Um, honestly, great pop overall. Um, I'm definitely going to try and maybe collect the whole Zombieland uh, series of pops. Definitely Bill Murray has to be one of those pops that I definitely want to see in my collection. I love the movie Zombieland and um, I'm looking forward to eventually seeing Zombieland 2. Um, I know that's already came out, but uh, I didn't get a chance to see it out in theaters. So I will be looking for it eventually when it maybe comes up to, like, let's say Netflix or wherever I can watch it. Um, again, good looking pop, very detailed, and um, let's move on to the next pop. Coming in at number six, it was announced as a part of the Funko Ween announcements, and it is the 10 inch. Chucky. Now, honestly, a 10 inch Chucky in anyone's collection would be pretty creepy um, because it almost is the resemblance of a full size Chucky. And uh, I do like the movies. Um, I think the, what is it, The Seed of Chucky, I believe, um, probably one of my favorites. 
It's either the seed or the bride of Chucky. I'm pretty sure it's the seed of Chucky, though. Um, let me know in the comment section below uh, if you can remember what the name is. I might go search it up later anyways. Um, but if I forget, then again, let me know in the comment section below. But this pop overall looks really nice. And honestly, I know a few people that might want to add this to their collection. Not only because it is a good looking pop, but they might want to freak out their friends as well. Now coming in at number 5, it is the GameStop slash EB Games exclusive 1989 Joker, the metallic version. This looks very nice in my opinion, just the detail on it, the metallic feel to it. I just absolutely love it. I know that this would not be a shelf sitter. I think that a lot of people do plan on getting this pop and honestly Funko did a great job with this pop. Now moving on to number four. It is the Target exclusive Metallic Mystique from the X-Men. And back to back Metallic pops on the list. Um, I think Mystique is more detailed than the Joker in my opinion. I know a lot of fans might think opposite and think that the Joker is more detailed. Um, I mean, you can have that, honestly. I mean, they both are very detailed. And I couldn't really decide which one um, basically should make it higher than the other in the list. Uh, I put Mystique at number four. Only because um, I do like the color on this pop. I like the fact that the metallic kind of shows off and pops that blue a bit more. And a very great pop in my opinion overall. Coming in at number three is another Target exclusive and it is the Dagobah R2-D2. Now I think this is the best looking R2-D2 pop in my opinion. Just the fact that it's pretty much looking a bit dirty from the Dagobah. Um, really great pop overall. Um, again, like I had mentioned with the Shadow Trooper, if I were to collect Star Wars pops, this would be one of those pops that I added into my collection. However, uh, I don't think I'll be collecting Star Wars pops anytime soon. So therefore, I'm not going to be adding it into my collection right now. Um, but again, like I said, very detailed. It has a very personal, or very high personal reaction in my opinion. And there is a lot of hype to this pop. And I don't see much negativity on this pop, so therefore that's made it into at least my top three pops, in my opinion. Coming in at number two, it is another Star Wars pop, but this is for the Battle at Echo Base um, set. And it is the Amazon exclusive Han Solo with Tauntaun. Very, very detailed in my opinion. And I know a lot of people are saying, oh, like, I would like to see the back of this pop to see if there's, like, guts coming out of it or whatever. That would be cool to see. Um, and again, I'll mention, I'm not really collecting any Star Wars pops at the moment. But again, this might be one of those ones that I would add to my collection. This is a very, very detailed pop. Very high hype to it and personal reaction and this is a very iconic scene in the movie and so that's why it made it as high as it did in my top 10 list but there is one pop or pops that I definitely felt was a very very fun moment to see and that's why it made it into my number one which you will see in the next clip and coming in at number one, it is the Entertainment Earth exclusive two-pack of Spider-Man vs. Spider-Man. And Funko definitely decided to go with the route of, let's make two Spider-Man pops with the whole meme of basically, you know, one Spider-Man pointing at the other, kind of like, hey, what's going on? Like, you know... That iconic meme that everybody sees on social media nowadays. Um, I absolutely love this. And um, Spider-Man, one of my favorite movies, one of my favorite heroes. Um, there's nothing more I can really say about this. This had a lot of personal reaction and a lot of hype. And very 
detailed, even though basically it's just two Spider-Man pops. But they have it in such a way in the box where it's basically representing the meme, basically. Like, they're in the same place. It even has the, basically, the backdrop in the background of the box um, of that scene or that meme. And honestly, I love this pop. And if I had a chance, I probably would get this pop in a heartbeat. Well, that's going to do it for today's video, guys. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, make sure to smash that like button. Also, leave a comment Let me know what your favorite pop was from the month of May. If you're new to my channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And also, hit the little bell beside it to be notified of when future content like this video gets released. Stay tuned for my next video, which will be the unboxing of a package I got from K-Dog and Fish. And also, I was challenged by Dylan from a Funko Popcast for the Money is Funko Pop Challenge. So, I will be doing that video at some point in time as well. So, stay tuned for that. And, until next time, guys, keep on popping.